Mike Swanson, Wall Street Window here. Got a very special update uh, for the weekend of May 20th in the stock market. There's just a couple stocks in the NASDAQ 100 that are in fairly uh, precarious situations. Uh, first of all, we did see a triangle breakout, uh, very anticipated uh, two weeks ago. The S&P 500 broke the, the triangle, the NASDAQ popped up. Much of that gain was driven with a straight up move in Apple, which heavily weights the NASDAQ. But I was seeing stock market bulls predict that this would trigger a run straight up to the highs and really uh, for the rest of the year. Doesn't really look like that's happening. Uh, we're kind of drifting at the moment. My guess is the market's going to drift. Because what I see when I look inside the market averages are a few leadership stocks. Uh, such as Apple, but most stocks are sluggish, and many stocks are just breaking down. Uh, and let me show you a couple bad situations here. This is Applied Materials. Semiconductor Giant got smashed on Friday. However, what I want to show you are leading indicators that warn that this is a stock that could be very susceptible to getting hit. Uh, first of all, uh, the, there's two indicators on this chart. On the bottom, uh, the one, uh, this the first one is the relative strength plot, uh, comparing uh, applied materials with the QQQs, the Nasdaq 100. That plot was going down, going into Friday's drop, which means that applied materials was performing worse than the Nasdaq 100. It's a lagging stock, lagging stocks become dangerous stocks on stock market dips. They tend to lead on the downside, and they can just even dump, even if the stock market doesn't, which is exactly what Applied Materials did. The second indicator is on balance volume. It's an accumulation distribution indicator. When that indicator is declining, it means there's more selling than buying uh, overall in the stock. And if the stock is going sideways, uh, it's a warning that the stock can easily dump uh, the way that indicator is created is by tallying the days in which the, the stock is up and the number of shares traded on those days and subtracting that number uh, when there's a down day. So when the stock, when unbounced volume is declining, there's more uh, selling on the down days than on the up days, a sign of distribution. Uh, a stock that has not yet broken down but has all the warning signs of, of a dump coming is JD.com, JD symbol JD. You can see relative strength is in a sharp deterioration almost over 12 months. On balance volume is also starting to trend down. Stock is sitting right on support while we have seen that triangle break out the stock market average. A very dangerous warning sign. This is a, a lagging stock with signs of distribution. Another stock that's disintegrating, uh, Celgene, sharp deterioration relative strength, sharp deterioration in unbounced volume, and the declines likely to simply continue. The thing is, now is the time to analyze any stocks that you own and see if these indicators are deteriorating in them because those are stocks you may want to get out of. You want to get out of the weak situations in a market that's kind of drifting in an overall sideways pattern. And that's what's going on in the market averages. And in that situation, the weaker stocks are dumping. Uh, another stock in a dangerous situation is Tesla. Uh, of course, Tesla dumped in March and then has bounced. I uh, call it a dead cat bounce trading pattern setup that has just been completed over the past week. You can see relative strength, of course, in decline, but so is on balance volume. Disclaimer purposes you, purposes you need to know. I am short Tesla. I've been short Tesla um, for about two or three months now, but it had a dead cat bounce that is completing. Uh, and I think its stock's going lower. Another stock that uh, is doing a dead cat bounce uh, trading setup. Hasn't completed it yet, yet though, but it's Skyworks. Uh, you can see relative strength in a sharp decline on mouse volume and decline too. The stock dumped also in March and has been since bounced back up now over bought near uh, the 150 and 200 day moving averages. I'm not quite yet betting against the stock, but I'm very likely to do so. These dead cat bounce 
trading setups are what I'm seeing materialize in many individual stock situations for good uh, uh, trades. Uh, and if you're on my free email list, uh, go to uh, the last email I sent and you'll see an entire PDF report about this dead cat bounce stock trading setup, how it works, how to use it, how to get more involved in situations like this hand by hand um, uh, with me in a group I've created to do it. Uh, if you're not on the email list, um, then uh, go to the link at the bottom uh, of this video in the uh, YouTube notes and you can get the report uh, for free. Uh, but this is it. This is the trading setup that's working. Uh, I'm in a situation where I've got both long positions and short positions um, operating sort of like a hedge fund in that manner. But you got to arm yourself with this trading pattern because it is hitting in this market.